BOMAR site was part of a wider network to protect the eastern seaboard from bombs that would be dropped by Soviet bombers that were nuclear in nature. And the BOMAR site was the first ground-to-air missile site and had the longest range. So these were new missiles that were produced uh, by the Boeing and the University of Michigan Research Center, which is why it's called BOMAR. And they collaborated to create these missiles to defend us, basically, from nuclear attack. The rocket had a nuclear warhead on the, the missile. They could take conventional munitions, but all the ones we had were topped with nuclear warheads. And the idea is that it would explode in the air, so really you don't have to be right on target to hit the airplane. If a nuclear bomb goes off, it's gonna take out the plane and hopefully some of the others that were flying around with it. The first tests were done down in Florida, I believe, and they were able to successfully intercept uh, aircraft, test aircraft, and that's what gave them the permission to go ahead. Um, as I said, this site started in 1959, but the missiles were developed back in like 1955 before they started fielding them. And it was due partially to the test to make sure they actually worked as advertised. On uh, 7 June 1960, uh, Shelter 204 was where they had a Burmuk missile where the uh, fuel system or a compressor something in the fuel area exploded and the missile began to burn. It burned for approximately 30 minutes before anyone actually noticed it. But when they saw the smoke, they called to respond. And it took them a few minutes, obviously, even though they had their own um, fire service to get there. But the missile was pretty much destroyed after the 30 minutes of burning. And it took them another 15 minutes to actually put out the fire. And so 45 minutes total to control everything and the missile was completely destroyed along with the warhead. The warhead did as it was what it was supposed to do. It, it just melted, which unfortunately did release radioactive material into the area. To fight the fire, they sprayed water over the site for 15 hours continuously. So it was purposely put in the middle of nowhere. and There wasn't any immediate threat to uh, anyone there, but the remediation actions were to spray paint over all the areas inside and outside around the shelter, and they poured concrete over that apron where the building was at. It was pretty much contained right away. If anything, what this incident did was prove that the military was taking measures to keep people safe. Uh, nuclear weapons were a big deal then as now, but it showed that even in an event where you had a fire burn up a missile with a nuclear warhead, they were able to contain it and that gave people a lot of trust that we know what we're doing with the weapons, we have the right people in place to take care of us, and they're not gonna put us in harm.